Hi, I'm Ala, Professor at Coffey at the Centre for Animal Science and I've been working on bovine venereal disease. It's caused by two pathogens, a bacterium and a protozoan. For the protozoan that causes trichomoniasis, there is no vaccine in Australia. They are made in America and in other places, mostly America in the world, but um, you can't import a vaccine. And so it's better to find Australian strains of this protozoan to make an Australian vaccine. There were some recent studies done up north in the abattoirs across Western Australia, Northern Territory and Queensland that showed that one in 10 bulls that ended up at the abattoir had this disease already present. So that means it's pretty widespread, which is something that we did not know prior to this recent study. Venereal diseases are where bulls can carry the disease and pass it on to the female and then cause infertility, which they don't get pregnant or they abort really early. So it decreases the calving rates and calving rates in Northern Australia is a really important issue. So we're working closely with the School of Veterinary Science at UQ, as well as different uh, commercial cattle producers to do this work so far. And we're wrapping up our first study and planning the next one. Hi, I'm Kieran McCusker. I'm um, a senior research fellow with uh, Coffey, the University of Queensland. My involvement in this project was um, assisting the collection of the samples and um, handling of the bulls. Quite a straightforward procedure. This is a, a tricampa sampling tool. Um, and the bulls were presented in a veterinary crush. Um, we would then introduce this in the prepuce of a bull and um, it was just a forward and backward motion. You get some tissue collection and we would withdraw this, cut the end off it and put it in a solution stored for analysis. If a successful vaccine is, is developed out of this, um, it could be a quite important industry benefit. Um, so we're dealing with reproductive inefficiencies, which um, you know is estimated to cost between 60 and 120 million dollars a year for the northern beef industry. So if we actually are able to improve reproductive efficiency a little bit, it will have um, important um, economic and, and benefits. Yeah.